In this video, we're going to take a look at a second and more powerful way of creating notes inside of Soundtrap. It's called the piano roll. Stay tuned. After creating a new Soundtrap project, let's create a drum track and a two bar region. So here's our two bar region. By default, we see the Beatmaker grid, also known as the Patterns tab below. Let's place some notes in bar one on beat one, two, three, and four. We'll switch over to the piano roll and let's break down the location of the notes. Let's zoom in so that we can see everything more clearly. You'll see some faint lines showing here where the locations are, but we can definitely see a lot more lines than there are notes. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go up to the top right to this gear looking icon, and we're going to select 1 16th. By default, it's on automatic grid size. If I move the note from beat three to the E of beat three, we'll see the change in the Beatmaker grid as well. Take a look. Let's move from here to here. You may also notice that when I move the notes that it snaps magnetically to the closest line. And that's because this tool right here is on. It's called Snap to Grid. If yours is not snapping, take a look at when I turn it off. Now it's not going to snap and we can just move it freely. So if it's not snapping, that's because this tool is not on. The lengths of the notes can be adjusted by grabbing either end of the notes. Or we can shorten it from the side. And once again, it snaps to the grid. If we want it to make it a lot shorter without snapping, then we have to turn that off. And now we can just adjust the length freely. We can also draw in notes on the piano roll using the pencil tool, which is right here. So it allows me to draw notes and we can see that in the patterns. It's reflected there as well. To delete a note, just click on it and press the backspace or delete key. My favorite way of using the pencil tool is by holding the option key and we can toggle it on or off. So on a Mac, it's option. On Windows, it's going to be Alt. And so you can see, as soon as I press that key on the keyboard, it switches to pencil and now I can draw it in. Whatever the length of the note that I just adjusted, that's going to be the length of the note that's drawn in as well. So if I adjust this and make it longer, now when I draw on a note, it's the same length. And conversely, if I shorten this note and then draw on notes, it's going to be the same length as the note that I shortened. Your goal is to be able to draw notes in various locations. You can keep all the notes this length. For those that understand musical note values, this note represents a 16th note, but more on that later. All right, I'm gonna delete these notes and let's practice drawing in some notes. So let's draw a note on the and of beat three in bar one. So this is one E and uh, counting each grid, two E and uh, three E and is right here. So I'm gonna hold option and there we go. Okay, I'll let you try this one by yourself. Let's draw a note on the and of beat four in bar two. So bar two starts right here. Okay, so let's count through. One, E, and, a. Uh. Two, E, and, a. Uh. Three, E, and, a. Uh. Four, E, right here. Okay, let's try one more. Let's draw a note on beat two of bar one. So bar one starts at the beginning right here. Okay, so we have one, E, and a uh, two. Holding option or alt, and there we go. So that's all there is to the grid. I hope that helps.